Hey guys, I'm Alex on the internet, and this is the In Case You Missed It Minute. Just a couple of weeks ago, Twitter released a new application called Periscope. The application allows you to stream live video straight from your Twitter feed. I checked it out and it's a pretty cool app. It's kind of like the old Ustream feeds. Most applications like this have used webcams in zoos and city streets, but live streams from an app like Periscope or others like Meerkat can go anywhere because they go wherever this goes. And just a couple of weeks since its release, we're already seeing bootleg films on Periscope. Over the weekend for Fast and Furious 7, there was at least a dozen people on a Twitter search that were streaming the movie live to their followers. A dozen people isn't a big issue, but the Motion Picture Association of America is concerned. Because what if technology like this just gets better? If you're going to take a camera into a theater, you're most likely going to be caught. But a theater can't really confiscate your phone. And if technology like this continues to get better, maybe watching bootleg movies this way is gonna be worth it. I've got this thing where watching something for the first time, I need perfect quality. I don't think I'd ever be able to sit down for two hours and watch a bootleg movie from somebody's cell phone. However, it's a massive market, so there's a lot of people who do. If the numbers continue to grow with people broadcasting films from a theater to their phone, how will authorities decide to stop this? My question today is, would you watch a full movie on Periscope? Or what about actually trying to broadcast one? That's all for the minute, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out alexontheinternet.com. And please subscribe and like the videos, and I'll see you on the next minute.